Where's that treasure? Arg, what's up everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Rich the Coin Guy here at the flea market in Daytona Beach, Florida. And we are talking the monarchy today. Obviously, everybody's talking about it. Queen Elizabeth is done. Unfortunately, God rest her. My mom was crying about it. Of course, all my family's English. It's devastating. But she was on the throne for 70 years. That's incredible. Yes. Uh, and we're going to talk about it because I, I know people are going nuts for stuff from the monarchy that has the queen on it. And uh, that's got to be a real thing. Let's see what the coin guy has to say about it. All right. Here we got Richard, the coin guy. And we're talking the queen. And he's got some really cool pieces here. So what are we seeing? Is there a peaked interest a happening? Lot interest. A lot of interest. You know, there is trillions upon trillions of coins with Queen Elizabeth on it because of 70 years. So you should be able to find something. But it's nice to start to go back and collect the monarchy, collect older coins. And the way to collect older monarchy or older queens and kings is to get the young queen or the young king on a coin because that's when they first started and that will be the oldest. They And they look the best. Yes. <laughs> and so this is a really cool piece here from 1976. This is part of their uh, territories, uh, Commonwealth, the Turks and Kiakas Islands. And you have Queen Victoria in different stages of her life. And this is on sterling silver. And what's really cool, because it's 1976, on the back, on the wow. uh, actually on the obverse uh, is this is the front of the coin. Is that this a is, proof? It this looks is a like proof. a proof. It's this is beautiful. Queen. This is Queen Elizabeth II, and um, they had a tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. Had a tribute to Queen Victoria. Now we all know her face is on all the bullion everywhere: Canada, Australia, all the yes. places. So with that being the case. Is it these rare, more rare collectible series with her that you see going up in, in a real value? They're going to be, this one here, they made a lot of it, but they also, during several melts, they melted a lot of them. So this and, is sterling. That's, that's 46 years old. I yes. mean, I know because it's a year older than I am. <laughs> this is when you're only talking four years later with the Hunt Brothers scheme. 1980s, All right. a lot of this stuff got broken out of the books and just melted down. So we don't know how many are out there. That's wild. Yep. There's some other ones here too. This is another Turks and Kiakos. This is a very thick hockey puck of a silver piece, sterling. Now that that's more of a recent bullion piece yes. from this, the look of it. Yes. This is 10 crowns, um, the International Year of the Child, 1982, Turks and Kiakos. And this is the child on a really cool very thick piece it's a it's a neat and it, that looks piece. like a two ouncer in there probably huh? big, is big yes. chunky now you got this giant one yes here. this one here this one is in my personal collection it's 100 years of self-sufficiency it is uh, shiny you can see me yeah. reflecting all over that thing yes too. this is um this wow. is the falkland islands very large young queen here um 25 pound um uh, the, the currency here is 25 pounds from Great Britain and also the Falkland Islands using that currency. Um, but this is with her crown and a lot of detail in the jewels in the crown piece. And, now that's um, a stunner and yes. size does matter. What, what do you value something like that at? This is probably uh, upwards of a couple hundred bucks and probably uh, it could go much more. It, um, but it's definitely going up yes. now, without yes. a doubt. So what? They like this because it's the young queen. They like this because it's the Falkland Islands. They also like this because you it's have a, a nice old ship on it. I'm a pirate. I'm a sucker for ships, There's without a doubt. groups of people that like to collect century stuff, 100 years of self-sufficiency. Self and it's, it's really a well-sought-after piece. This is the original box. And this is the kind of thing that they're going to be looking for. All the silver people that want a hint at trying to collect something with a little bit more value, right there it is. Now, yeah. what is this one here? Because it's not yes. silver, right? Now, this that's, one's not, no. That's some other coin, but it has the queen on it. And that's really mm -hmm. what yes. people are looking for, unique pieces. 
And uh, what is this? This metal? is copper nickel. Oh, okay. And it's from 1972. This is Gibraltar. This is another one. It's This is showing wow, a couple different uh, pictures of the queen and, and stamps. And that this is, is Gibraltar cool. crown in there. Yep. And then people look for that as well. They'll want to have stuff like that was done originally. Now you got an itty bitty bitty yes. coin. And Real this small. is this is silver. Let's see if we can actually get in on this. Yeah. And see what it is. It is a Great Britain Moundy. Is that what that is? Yes, from 1823. And it has King George on it. Um, this is um, the period of time when he was getting up there in age. He lost the states. Uh, this was alms for the poor. So this was something. Alms for the poor. It was they gave. And I remember that from Robin Hood. I think they're begging alms for the poor. Yes. So they would actually give this bitty little silver coin to people that were in need. And that's a stunning, stunning yes. piece. So that is that. This is a much bigger piece to show that you can see the head. This, now this. So you know, this is the same same king. Same person. Yep. And this is 1816, 1823, same time period. Now this, I'm gonna show you, these are mine. In my mind, if we got a new monarch going on, uh, that's gonna push all these old ones to get more valuable because we're getting further away from when they reigned. And we got a couple of really cool half crowns. Uh, this one here looks like King Edward. Uh, could be George, it says George. George, that's King George. King yeah. George, yep. That's how bad Pirate is with his numbers. But look Sorry. at this full crown, 1892. I'd been looking at this one. It is a stunner. It's hefty. And, of course, these all have silver. They're .925. Yes. They are so cool. And you can see, like, the one he's got here, it, that's her with the full headdress, Queen Victoria. And here is Queen Victoria in the same headdress. Young and beautiful. And it was only eight, nine years later that she passed away, 1901. Incredible, that is awesome. So I'm getting in on the mix as well. I think these are gonna go up in value. This is the coin guy, Richard Jarvis, out here at the Daytona Flea Market. Look, he's got loads of goods out here, guys. Slabs, whatever you're looking for, hit him up. Thank you for your time. You and it. that is it for today, Pirate Out, oh. arg. <laughs> And here's some of the loot you're going to find here at the Coin Guy, the Daytona Flea Market. He's got so much stuff to look at. If you're looking for anything in particular, look him up because he has even more stuff than you see. The great thing is there's cheap stuff, there's expensive stuff, there's jewelry too. But these coins, some of them you're just not going to see. Always fun to come look. And a coin, of course the coin guy is always here to help you out. Again, there's his number and info. Make sure you hit him up if you're looking for something. Working the deals, working the deals. And he's got currency too, some really cool stuff floating around yes so much to see you're after Morgan's he's got them boom all the slabs you could ever want finish your collection out Can't forget this, the low, low lying fruit down here. They add up too, man. I'm finding everything has a price. And we'll get into errors and all that. Look, there's type sets too, all kinds of sets, more slabs.
whatever you're after, you can find it here at the flea market. Daytona, Florida. Loads of fun.